from the village to McDonald's in New York City. <laughs> That's right. Under 24 hours. That's right. So would you be able to take a girl on a date to KFC in Nairobi? Is that 100%. Okay? Actually, if you does, you warn her. Really? Because they are used to too much Ugali, so let me something new. You know? 99% of the people attack me are my own. Oh, yeah. And they have a lot of white people from all over around the world who support me. Yeah. But... Your own kind is against you. Yeah, but most of them, even the funny thing is, most of them are from Africa. Yeah. Yeah. Who, who we've never met, yeah. we've never communicated. Yeah. Sultan, generally, if I, I, I provide to you beautiful women, would you choose one or two or three? What? I know I'm the problem. It's not even clear. Actually, <laughs> oh, I don't know if my phone has Wi-Fi. That's right. Uh, I, you know, you can connect me with your Wi-Fi. We can share yeah, your Wi-Fi. Yeah, we can share your Wi-Fi. I hope she's not, she's not uh, like on board. All right, let's call her. And you're going to find out whether she's going to answer my wife's phone call or not? Ah, she will answer. All right. She calls every day. All right. Hey. <laughs> Bring your answer, guys. Yes. I, I want you to say hello to my friends. They they want to say hello to you, you know. I told them you are my first wife, so they want to see you and say hello. Hey, I don't know where to begin. This is your boy, Sultan, a typical son of the Soviet. My heart is bleeding. You know, one time, long time ago, I asked my girlfriend, Honey Pum Pum, can I marry another woman after we get married? This woman tell me, Sultan, how do you want me to save your poison? In fact, she said, how would you like your poison to be saved? I said, hey, who this woman is crazy. Honey Pum Pum, Sultan don't reply. In fact, I want my poison. Spicy, spicy, spicy. Since then, I never think about polygamy again. Eh? Or oh, having side chick. Because my woman is VSD. But anyway, fast forward. You know, I don't really like to be reacting to video because I cause too much trouble. But today, you know what, guys? This is Sultan. Subscribe to the channel. Who do you think? Should I be reacting to videos? Today I came across a video. You know, when me and Ivan used to talk, Ivan said some time ago that even though he hosted Marwa several times, Marwa kept saying that he does not have friends. So it makes Ivan so, so, so sad. Every day, Ivan will talk about this. And I will say, my brother, let it go. It is okay. Don't take it personal. But today, guys, I came across a video that King of Travel reacted about Marwa. Let's watch this video. Thank you. No villa girl. That one we finished. And people feel entitled. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, guys. It breaks my heart. Guys, did you hear? Did you listen? This is really sad. What do you guys think? Biting the finger that fed you, you made a whole lot of families uncomfortable. You ripped them their hard earned money to take care of you. Bought gifts for you, spoiled you up and down, fed you for months. The, the next thing you are saying as soon as you left the US is. You so, guys, you heard what Marwa said. Apart from mutual family, whom he really calls his real family, he doesn't want to get close to anybody again. My question to you listening and watching is, what about Sultan? What did Sultan do to Marwa? I thought I was a family too. But anyway, let's watch the next video. Because the next video will scatter, scatter your brain and your heart. Don't say I didn't tell you. Get your cup of wine.
or coffee and better prepare because no matter what people did to my work what i heard in the next video hey this was a hell for me huh you come to a country you know quite well why you came there you came for greener pasture oh you're saying oh guys us is not what you think every minute you have something negative to talk about people but people must not talk about you like seriously like seriously lazy people everywhere you guys should leave me alone let me give it to marijuana water water you can't talk about my children and get away with it are you my god like seriously who does things like this man listen listen man this video right here is called from friends to enemies you know what i want to explain something y'all about me man uh I'm real life. I'm not a hater, you know. I'm not a hater, man. But I call myself as a 100% authentic guy. And if you ever hear me speaking against somebody, they must have crossed me. You know, I don't speak just for fun. You know what I'm saying? I don't talk about nobody and have hatred in my heart. But by me being 100% authentic, I understand we live in a world that a lot of people ain't going to be authentic as me. And I totally get it. That's just the world we live in. You know what I'm saying? But one thing about me, man, is that if I reach out to you on more than one occasion and was a big supporter of you and kind of thought we was just a little bit of a friend, you know, just a, a little bit of friend where I could have reached at you and get some information and you consistently ignore me, when I know I supported you, I get really offended at that. And I'm going to speak my mind. But man, this message right here, man, you see this with Salton, man. Like now nah, even Salton getting offended. You know what I'm saying? Ivan talked to Salton and they all saw what was going on. But sometimes you don't know how a situation really is until you start to dwell in it yourself and see what time it really is. People really get offended. You know what I'm saying? When, when this man came into the U.S., man, and uh, in so many words, what Ma was saying is that nobody had any value to him. You know what I'm saying? And and he talked about the Matua's family, but the Matua's family, pretty much Ma would use and abuse him. You know what I'm saying? Ma could have done whatever he wanted to do with that guy and his family, and that's what he called friends. You know what I mean? That's friends to him. You know, somebody... He could just pretty much dictate and tell them what they're doing, how to do it, and he fine with it. But the minute Marwa don't get his way, he pouched like a little girl. Wham, 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 wham. That's what he does. But man, this is just a message that, you know, the universe works in mysterious ways. Like, the true energy of Marwa is now coming to the light. You know, Marwa said on the video, one time he could have just traveled across, across the world and it was never a problem. Everything was so good and he just went. He just went. He want to know where is all this hell and chaos coming from now that every place he's stepping is becoming a problem now. Why are the reactors on him the way they are? Why is the drama brewing up around him? Why is his whole family? Was, why is all this happening now? Ma, well, I got a message for you, man. You need to own up to your mistakes. You need to start looking at yourself in the mirror. I always told people that how could they ever start doing right when they could never see they wrong? You blind. I want you to remember the starting date, Marvel, when all the hell start breaking loose. It's two things. It's when I was heading into Africa. And also, when you call Modesta Lifestyle and Black Beauty TV, Witches and Wizards. That's when the saga started. Marwa, you need to really check yourself. That's when everything started getting exposed. Michele Ponte, Jam Tours, Afro-Indians. And much more. Ever since that day. 
You remember when you called Modesta Lifestyle and Black Beauty TV Witches and Wizards? Because all them humble, humble young ladies, the CEO and Coco Mama, all they said was charity begins at home. And you want to lash back like a little girl to take off for your sister. You remember when that happened? That was when the first time I finally had arrived in Africa and I did a video and got over 30,000 views. Talking about why am I talking about Mawa and I disrespecting I am Mawa and I need to watch my mouth. I need to do this and do that. But let me tell you something. I ain't watching none of my mouth and I'm going to keep on talking. But man, I must say to Sultan, Ivan, and everybody else out there, when you deal with Marvel, he just using y'all, man. He just letting y'all know who his true colors is. That's all he doing. Don't take it personal. He done did it to plenty of people. Ask, ask Richard World Traveler, man. Richard World Traveler is one of his biggest teachers. Ask Richard what he did to Richard, man. He fooled Richard, you know. Richard paid for that man playing ticket and all that, man. Taking that man all over the all over the road. Last year when he came down to the States, Richard was one of his main drivers, man. Use Richard. Paying Richard $20 a day. But didn't want to dictate Richard life. But when he didn't get his way with Richard, oh, he talked trash about Richard too. But he tried to talk it in an easy way. How I know all this? Because when I was in Bogota, Colombia, he told me about Richard World Traveler. Little did I know, man, this man bent over backwards for him. And guess what? He thought Richard World Travel was jealous of him. He said the same thing. Richard ain't a jealous, bro. You was using Richard, bro. <laughs> that wasn't fair to that man. That man did too much for you, man. Why you use that man like that, bro? You was wrong for that, bro. But you can't see nothing you did wrong. That's your issue, Marwa. That's your issue. I got a serious question for you, Marvel. Be honest with yourself deep down inside. Why did you ask your donators to donate that money for Afro-Indians? What was really your purpose? Man, I mean, you try to brag, but you got so much money, man, and you got this and you got that. I think the most disrespectful thing is if you two pay you that much of money, why are you still trying to drag your subscribers, man? Why are you trying to pretend to them and get more money out of them? Like, bro, I feel that is dirty and conniving. If YouTube already paying you enough, why are you trying to get more? Why are you trying to be greedy? Is it because you really just use your subscribers and using your fame as much as possible to just get as much money as you could get from people? Is that what it's about? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's being greedy. You know what I'm saying? Coming up with different lies and games and pretending just to manipulate your audience, bro. Is that what it's about? You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you already get money off of YouTube, bro. Like, use your own money. Why? It's like, in reality, man, you, you make these promises saying when you get your house, your house. That is your house. So stop saying your house, your, your house, you and your subscriber's house. You know what you're going to do to them. When you don't get your life together, you'll kick everybody in the behind. Be honest. This mom manipulating your subscribers, man, and... Got them donating. But guess what, brother? We react as here to stay. And I know you mad at us. You mad at us because we exposing your hand. We know that us reactors is your worstest nightmare. And we understand you can't stand us. Because guess what? You would get away with all kind of mess on this internet if it wasn't for us. Exposing your hand. So y'all give a big shout out to the reactors. That's why Ma was getting mad at y'all when y'all watching the reactors channel. Ma was getting mad at y'all. Ain't that something to think about? Ma was upset because y'all watching us and wondering why y'all want to watch us. Because he don't need y'all to watch us so he could dictate y'all life and manipulate y'all how he wants to manipulate y'all. But I'm going to end this video. Listen to what your boy Marwa got to say about us reactors and how he downgraded his own crowd. That's something to think about. Y'all have the right to listen to who y'all want to listen to. That's real talk. 
We just open in your eyes. Good see. What really happened between you and Ivan? I will not talk about that story. I'll talk about that story the right time, not now. Probably the end of the year. And I don't give them any type of clouds, any type of... I don't give nothing to do with me. But if you watch this entire video, I've talked two minutes about that story. But just know everything you saw, fabricated, false, everything. And God is my witness. Yeah. If they had evidence, I will, I will not be a free man. All they know is they had to do everything. Because I'm the bigger guy here. I'm the guy with the numbers. I am Marwa. We have to put him down. He has to do collabs, forcing false narrative, contradicting themselves. You guys can see. I don't have to talk about that. Look, I've been traveling for seven years. I've never had such a scenario in my life. Why is it that when I met these people in just a week, I have scandals all over around me? And the same people are all over talking about, oh, Maro did this, Maro did. Why? I've been traveling alone for seven years, bro. Since 2016, I've never had such scandals in my life. Why? That when I'm, uh, and that's when I'm growing their YouTube channels. That's when uh, it, I get scandals, you know? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not giving reactors anything to talk about. They can keep fabricating. Uh, and, and if you're my follower, this, this is a question for you. You are my follower. Why would you watch somebody called reactor instead of just watching me and understanding what's going on? I feel people who actually watch those people by the name reactors are people who are mentally challenged. Because honestly, if you're smart enough, you don't need somebody to watch. You don't need somebody to come and watch me. Then take whatever they want to take from watching me and present them on their YouTube channel and you go watch them. That's crazy. I don't understand you. I'm sorry if, if you're one of those guys who watch those people. Bro, I don't know. You need to go to school. I don't know. I don't understand you. How can you watch somebody who has to watch me first then think then go do their videos why can't you just watch me you know why can't you just watch me and leave those people alone so if you're watching those guys over there trust me uh you have a problem you have a problem in processing your own information because all you need to do is watch marwa and you 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 know you know what's going on you don't need to watch those people who and even the funny thing is and listen it's good when you watch at least people who are are honest you know it's different when people are very honest very and they give you like perspectives of life that one is is different but when you watch every single day somebody talking about negative stuff saying oh i don't know a uh, maro has been deported and it's a lie Maro has been arrested. It's a lie. Oh, Maro, I don't know what, what. It's a lie. You are a fool, bro. I have sorry to call you that, but you are a fool. Why would you be watching such a person? And and all these things in one or two, three days, they come out as, as not true. But you still watch those people? I'm telling you, you have to question yourself a lot. If you watch those guys who make fake videos just because of the title, I, I see you as, 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 as a fool, you know? You know? Yes. I see you. Mr. Midas, the worldwide traveler, also known as the king of travel. His life is like a movie. They think they got you figured out, but they really don't. <laughs> Remember, don't just talk about it, be about it. Think bigger than your city. Let's travel. Let's travel. <laughs>